Oh yeah. You got sleeping. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're going on the fucking grand. Oh yeah. Bro, if you tell me they are in my bed. I'm the rat king. <laughs> in today's episode, it's, it's going, going to be action packed and, and we're, we're about to get started right now. All right, guys, we have some special guests today that we want to introduce you. In fact, they contacted us through our channel. We flew all the way out here to meet them. Behind us is a pretty severe rat infested house that we're going to consult with them and really solve this issue once and for all. We also have another special guest that we're gonna show you later to really solve this issue. So let's go ahead and meet Justin and Cole from Copex, and they're about to roll up right now. How's it going, guys? You guys ready to rock and roll? Yes, sir. Nice to meet you guys. Nice Good to meet you, you guys. Too. Tell me a little bit about how you guys found us. We've been watching your channel for a couple years now. We were big fans and eventually I just decided to reach out. I talked to him about it, see if you guys might want to hop on a call and talk with us. Reached out to you guys, you were obviously super accommodating. Immediately hopped on a call and we went from there. Awesome. Nice. Well, awesome. being twins was a huge, huge secret big. code. So if, you, if you're a twin out there and you're in the pest control, you've got that one step advantage for That's sure. Right. So guys, you brought us out to this house here yes, that uh, you guys got called out on. Massive rat infestation, Bad. right? I think it's you bad. guys are in for a big surprise. Right yeah. when you walk through the door, you'll be hit with the most ungodly odor of rat feces and urine rat excrement. It smells like my well, my second wife. Wow. And now is this uh, is this a tenant occupied? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. it is. Yeah, it's okay. tenants. Yeah, yeah. So we need to get we need to get these rats out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's uh, why don't we go meet the tenant? Let's do yes, a sir. quick little walkthrough yeah. and yep. see what Sounds we're good. in for. Hey Sounds guys. Good. First of all, hands in the middle. Hey, twins twins roll. Roll. Hey, let's go meet, uh, Jamie is the tenant, I guess. And so let's go ahead and meet him. And he's gonna show us inside the house where all the hot spots are. So let's go do that now. So here's the kitchen, huh? Yeah, here's a good example right here. I mean, this is a lot of the, oh yeah. Look at that. So when you first moved in, this drawer was empty. Emptier. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I didn't really investigate too hard when I moved in, but. Okay. Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. Like, Look at that. If you have anything up here, oh, the guy lives here, he puts like chicken broth and things up there. They'll knock it down. Put a it on the floor, they come out, there's five of them. Okay. You can hear one right now when I just pulled the drawer. Yeah, I opened the bathroom door. He was running across the top of the door frame, bounced off my shoulder and then ran off. I could have stepped on him, but I was like, whatever. You'll have that closed, you'll come out a little while later, it's like that, and then they'll kind of run back. This is one of their major, uh, yeah. Justin and Cole, they've been monitoring the activity here. So where's the hot spots you guys are saying? Yeah. So the three main hot spots that we found okay. have definitely been this couch. We've seen about five that have been nesting inside of you. So you oh, think they're in there right now? Oh, yeah. Couches, guys. You know what we do when we see rats with couches? Yeah, every time we've shaken this up, a couple of just spewed out, ran out, going to that couch right there, that little ottoman. Okay, and this drawer right here is actually famous on TikTok. It got... This is called rat infestation. Look how the rats create a nest inside drawer. That video got 1.4 million views. Check it, check it out, guys. Look at this. Look at that. All right, guys, so the third hotspot, closets. As you guys can tell, they're just using this as a highlight. They're coming in, they're bringing all their food. They're nesting. They're crawling up, going into the other closet on the they're other side. Up. Now guys, the tenants, it's gotten so bad, they've gotten to the point where they're sticking frisbees, plastic, towels, anything that they can stub under the doors to keep the rodents coming from in their rooms. Damn! So what was your idea on the couch you did? Well, if you think they're in here, mm -hmm. if we start shaking the couch out, they're gonna run. Yeah. What I'm thinking is, we use this opportunity for a twin challenge. We leave the couch in place and we'll build a sort of a, a rat ring. Yeah. An, an arena? A, an, a, yes, <laughs> a ring around this here. And then we get inside the arena with the rats. We shake the couch out and see who pulls more rats out. 
What do you guys think? You guys, you guys need to get whooped. Ooh, oh, challenge on. Oh, 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 challenge is on. Uh, guys, leave in the comments right now. Do you think the the older, stronger, more intelligent, strategic oh, twins are gonna win, or uh, the the young bucks with the guns? Right here, baby. Oh. Right here. Right here. Oh. in the cardboard wall. I'm gonna go ahead and take this glue board and put it on the other side so when the rats run out, it's gonna be part of my catch. I know we can simply come in here, remove the couch, be done with it, but we gotta have a little fun. Now it's time to disrupt the rats. Hopefully they're in there. Oh, you can feel how heavy it is on the earth. Keep going, because there's two more. Keep taking. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh. Got it. Ah. <laughs> 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 I'm to go. You bit me real good. Drop cup. Oh, look at him. Got him. Oh, hey, there's another one that ran out. One for the twins. One for look the twins. Oh. oh, yeah. Hey, one zero, one zero. <laughs> There's a big one in there right now. <laughs> there oh, there he is, there he is. Oh. He's under the sofa. Under the there. I can't believe they're getting around this. No, no he jumped this way. He went this way. That way. Did he go in the fireplace? Right here in the fireplace. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on, dude. Right here. Right, 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 right. right here. Right behind your curtain. Oh my gosh. Oh, cool. wow. That was, that Man, was insane. That, that was, was insane. Intense. How many rats did we get out of that cow? Was it four of them? There was at least four, yeah. And you caught one. I caught right one. There. Dude, that was yeah. awesome. So the way it, that it, it just oh, lands down yeah, on my finger. Oh, good thing <laughs> nah. you had those gloves on. I know. But I think we got to give it up to the young twins for getting in there. Absolutely. I appreciate it, guys. So good you guys job. won that one. Hey, job. good day one. Yeah. So, guys, on a professional level, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Coming into a home like this, what would be your strategy, based on watching all our videos? Yeah. Number one thing would be to seal up all the exits around the house or entrances around the house, just because if they're continuing to funnel in, yep. then there's no way we're stopping them on the inside. Nice. There you go. Nice. Okay. And then, what would be the second step to that? Cleaning up and sanitation. Yes. Beautiful. And as you know, Jamie's leaving some food mm -hmm. sources, right? Mm -hmm. yep. So it would be super imperative that Jamie does not have any food outside because that's where the trapping is going to be super, super effective. Exactly. We got our tools. We've got our exclusion material here all ready to go. We've got extension cords. This is a real efficient pest control vehicle here, folks. Oh, I mean, David and I really loaded up our truck. If you can see right here, we've got brooms, we've got rakes. We've, we've got, got everything, everything we've got right everything. here. This right here is one of the best rat killers ever known right here. I've sliced some Norway rats, uh, some brown rats, some roof rats, um, all kinds of rats. Oh, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna get up into some stuff right now, but I just want to show you our rat vehicle here. Yep. It's a cross-country little mofo. It does a hell of a job. It's efficient. Uh, yeah. We can get you all set up with the same vehicle, including the golf club, for $49.99. $49.99 today. is today special only. It's today. 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 So I figured out how the rats got all of this nesting. So the rats were getting in behind this hole here, which we've excluded. Then the, what they were doing is they were climbing up behind the dishwasher. And as you can see, above the dishwasher, I should say, there's a sock there. But see the hole? 
right here, that's where they were pulling everything in this drawer. That's how smart these rats are. And right, so we're getting all of the equipment ready for the cleanup, sanitizing. Cole getting suited up here. Yep. Got a lot of cleaning today, Cole. Getting everything taken care of. Okay, so one big tip here. When you're dealing with a massive rat infestation, there is a lot of odor. And I don't care what vacuum you have, if you don't have an exhaust port to take that odor to the outside, the whole house is gonna smell. So what we like using is, it's just some dryer vent, connect it or adapt it however you want to adapt it, hook it to the exhaust part of the vacuum, and then right here, we just take this to the outside. Hey guys, I never knew that, but that is a really great tip. It's gonna help keep our customers super happy. So here's the pantry again. Just wanna show you the before. So Cole is getting all the traps and all the bags out first. And soon everything will be clean. And this is some heavy material that they've literally dragged in. Part of a curtain. Is that a sock? Oh, Ooh. dead rat. Or is he sleeping? He's sleeping. Hi. Wake up. He's sleeping. Wake no, up. He's dead. Wake up. This is lint from the dryer bag. Look at this. Brought in another sock. Another sock. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay, now we're going to take our enzyme after we vacuum. We just really saturate the substrates. Carpet, wood. It's a great deodorizer and disinfectant. Any products that you use, guys, you want to allow it to soak for a good five to six minutes. It's already smelling better. We'll let this soak here for a good 15, 20 minutes. That already looks so much better. I know what you're thinking. These cabinets need to go. You know what? I agree. But right now, no budget. So we're just going to do the best we can with sealing up on the holes on the outside, getting these rats out of here, and then you'll see what the next steps are. Get these rats out. This is not really in our scope of the work, but because it was rat poop, we want to go above and beyond. Plus, getting rid of any type of food source, guys, is really going to help us catch, catch more rats. Exactly. Look at all the food source in this trash can. Rats can easily get in here, so I'm gonna recommend that this stays clean, free of food. Look at these, the flies are coming out of there. Check this out. Yeah. Let's take this one outside too. Yeah. Oh. been shined in 34 years. The amount of destruction these rats have caused. Man, what we're learning from the twins is just insanely, insanely valuable to us. All of this food source is going to be gone. My, that's why I started keeping my oatmeal in the fridge, is because they would just eat, they would chew straight into the uh, bag. So when you when you would feed, when you'd have a bowl of food, you'd come into the kitchen, Oh yeah, they'd be, they'd be on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would be on that shit like in seconds. I'd walk in my room for, I'm telling you, I went in my room and I came back out and one was eating my fucking muesli and I was like, get the fuck out of here. And it was like, and then fucking Yeah, hot this tight. That's a lot of cleaning done today. What a difference. Even the tenants were saying, wow, what a huge difference in this house. So now that we've gotten everything clean, it's time to aggressively trap now. Now that all of the food source, and I had a very specific conversation with Jamie and the tenants, guys, we need your help. We can't do this alone. We need your help in removing all food source. So if you guys are gonna eat, make sure you don't leave any crumbs, take the trash outside, because the next 48 hours, 24 hours, that's when we're gonna start decolonizing this house. Better, yeah, right? Okay. Yeah, as long as these motherfuckers are dead. All I care about is die. <laughs> die. <laughs> We're going to set all our traps up tonight. We're going to do all the exclusions. So, mm. disruption. Disruption mm. time. Thank you so much, man. All right, so I'm going to have Justin now go to the outside and cover that one hole outside that kitchen because that's the massive, massive entry point. How are we doing, Justin? Pretty good. About to cover up these holes and. Wow, this room compared to when we first got here, night and day, huge, huge difference. Let's head over to the kitchen. Remember what this looked like before? 
There was rat poop all over the countertops, the window seals. This was full of food source, debris. We set a rat trap in here as well, just, just in case. That's all clean. Look at the cooktop. All the grease is gone. Underneath all the cabinets. This has been completely sanitized, no more nesting. All right, so one of the biggest questions we get all the time is, hey, twins, why aren't I catching rats? I have so many rat traps out and they're not biting it. And the reason why is because all of the work that we've done in the last day or so has to get done. We've, we've got to do the cleaning, got to get rid of all the food. You've got to seal all the holes up now it's time to catch more rats. How and where are you going to set your traps up? So they're, Justin and Cole are going to go off on their own. They're going to set their traps. Me and Dave are going to have our little secret uh, spot. So we're going to go do that right now. Leave in your comments who you think is going to win. Right up here. Oh, I'm going to break the ball. You want me to grab it? <laughs> yeah, try to. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> As you'll see from some of the footage that we've caught on the cameras and the wise cameras, there's been a lot of activity all along this bottom part. They leap up here, they go through little holes around this area. So we're going to set our trap right on this wall. So we took the drawer out that was highly infested with the uh, nesting material. The infamous guy. drawer, yes. And what we're going to do is going to secure it inside like this, tape it down. And then uh, take some of this Slim Jim, wipe it across. Remember too, you don't want to leave a lot of bait behind because if you do end up not trapping them, they're going to take a lot of bait. They're going to live a lot longer. So you just need a little bit of bait. So we're going to take some of this nesting material here. Because rats are very neophobic, we have seen plenty of documentation where they get scared of any rat trap. So if you can utilize the same smelly material that's got a lot of their pheromones, Keep it around the trap, especially in attic areas. This works great. That insulation that smells, just kind of delicately put it over the rat trap and uh, leaving the food exposed. Smell is going to draw them in. It's going to make them feel comfortable and it's going to hide all of this bar and metal materials. Look at that. Guaranteed there. Guaranteed. That's probably why it smells so damn bad. All right, so this one here, we're just going to put some peanut butter. This was a hot spot. We're going to do is just set ours right here. Again, the reason why we have it up against the baseboard is because they'll come this way alongside the baseboard to the couch. I'll leave it right there. Two days later. All right, this is day three. We're all super excited on who's going to catch more rats with the traps we set last night, or are we going to even catch any? What do you guys, what's your prediction? Got at least got one. At yeah. least got one. I, two. I, I think we definitely got them. We'll see you guys. Let's go in and check it out. Here we catch. Not looking good. No catch. All right, let's head over to the kitchen. I'm excited about that drawer. Oh, look at the sticky trap. Oh, yep. Got away. So Jamie, Jamie texts Cole and Justin last night saying that we heard a lot of squealing. <laughs> so that's what that was from. I wish I heard that shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Bam. Oh, man. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. You're going on the Graham. This is this is main feed, bro. This ain't story. This ain't story time. Yeah. Smile, motherfucker. <laughs> should we just leave them there, or should we take them out of here? I just leave. No, I'm just <laughs> Lacquer them up. Let's check out the pantry here, guys. What did you see in the camera last night? So pretty much when I was watching the camera, I saw a rat run right up to the trap. And then the next clip, the whole trap was gone. Was so, gone? Yeah, just Bullshit. super confused, and I don't know if someone took it out of the house or what happened with it, but we'll see. Okay, let's check it out. So the trap was set up right here, in this yep. side, right? And it's gone. Wow. So it's set up right here, and now it's completely gone. Hey, oh, it's right there. Guys, oh, yeah. Another juvenile? <laughs> yep, yeah. got him right by the mouth. It caught him by the head, and he dragged him all the way the across trap? the floor. Yep. It's oh, a good one. wow. Yeah, what bait did you guys put it? Was this the bacon or the other one? The other one. Okay, we'll take this one outside too. All right, guys, while well, we tied on that one. Good, good job. job, good job. Hey, Dave, we've really been wanting to see your rap dance live. 
Oh, no. <laughs> so rap dance. Here we go. Go wherever you need to go, my man. You're definitely gonna, yeah, he's definitely gonna smell them around there because I would hear him running behind that shit. Bro, if you tell me they are in my bed, they're like living in my frame. I think they're, I think they're, look at these, look at the sign there. Oh my gosh. And he's definitely telling me there's rats here. What's the sign, Kim? He just gets really focused. Oh, He'll get really focused. He doesn't bark. He's either been here or it's here now. But it's some, there's, a, there's a rodent in here alive or has been here so recently. Gee, God damn it, the socks are <laughs> going missing. I knew it! We all thought the dryer I thought it was a, I thought it was a parallel dimension, but <laughs> rats work too, you know. I feel validated, because God damn it, I was well. sure that <laughs> shit was getting close, socks were going missing, I'm not even kidding. If we right. pull let's might go. Bit, he's, he he's, he's call it the not. octagon, bro. Let's, <laughs> let's get this motherfucker going. Uh, yeah, no, 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 if you see a rat, let's shoot it, stab it, let him tear it apart, whatever we gotta do, let's, yeah, let's roll. So. Here, hold on, hold on. Hold it. Don't let it spin. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. It's kind of like a couch. Look in here. I mean, now the poop. I'm the rat king. Yeah, that's the king. Holy shit. The main times I've heard them is behind here. I've heard, I've seen them run under the fucking door and like behind there. The and like you know, tried to like you know, kind of clatter them out. That's the drawer where the where the yeah, carcass car was. The carcass was. The bottom drawer is. I mean, he's getting really more animated, but the Leroy second. was definitely focused on this. Jeez, look at that! It's a dead carcass. So lovable. That's why pest dogs are amazing. Huge tool to have. Especially with a lot of content inside of a bedroom like this, it really points out the hot spots. Wow, guys, that was an action packed last oh, yeah. few days for it, sure. It, it we really appreciate your help. We guys. owe you guys dinner. Oh, right on. <laughs> well, guys, post your comments down below, hit that subscribe button, and we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next one. one.